So when you think about eternal punishment, right? If you go back to the beginning, when Adam and Eve sinned, there was no threat. If you rebel against me, if you sin, you're going to face the eternal consequence. You're going to burn in hell if you eat from this tree. He just said, the day that you eat, you shall die. Even though they didn't die the day that they ate. That particular day they didn't die, but that's another that's another issue. But so from the beginning there was no threat of eternal punishment, the the initial consequence for man's rebellion towards God. Now when you get when you get to Jesus becoming sin for us in Second Corinthians five twenty one, the Bible says, He who knew no sin became sin for us, that we may become the righteousness of God in him. Right, so Jesus took on our sin on the cross. Whatever our punishment was, Jesus took that punishment. So Jesus took that punishment, that eternal punishment, for three to six hours, so less than 24 hours, right? And so Jesus suffers this punishment for sin less than 24 hours six to nine hours and if god is a just god if he weighs things in a just balance how can he punish sinners eternally forever when jesus only suffered you know six to nine hours on the cross you know how can that be so for a just God who weighs things in a just balance? Think about it.